Okay. So every day, compost gets bought from the restaurants. Every time you will get buffalo cauliflower at Sage, they're cutting off this much biomass, this much plant material. This plant material is destined for the landfill if nobody does anything about it. And so what we do is we bring it back here to the farm and you can see there's kale from the restaurants, cauliflower from the restaurants, and then this is orange pulp right here that's on the top from making orange juice. You can see the red cabbage. These are plantains um, that went past their date and leeks, apples. So all of this is food waste. And this food waste is going to end up in the landfill. And what is the biggest cause of methane problem in the world? You think it's cow farts, but you're wrong. It's food in our landfill. While we sit there and say that we should end all animal agriculture, while we have that conversation, we're throwing our leftover Postmates into the trash. And it's getting put into a plastic bag, getting septic, creating methane up into the environment. Everyone has the power to change this. Everybody can compost. So this is why I bought the farm, because I knew that my restaurants were throwing this much. So this is just one day. And this is only from two restaurants. Imagine this much or double this much every day just from my restaurants. Then we're gonna take horse poop. This is horse poop right here. We'll come with a tractor and we're gonna cover that with horse poop. After we cover it with horse poop, we're gonna also put some cow poop because nothing sets off some compost like cow poop. Cow belly is magic microbes. You put some cow poop and some horse poop and then we have wood chips because you need carbon. We're gonna put layers, food, animal feces, carbon, food, nitrogen is the animal feces, carbon, and then we build that up. And then you make a windrow. This is a windrow that's already formed. And there's another one there. And then every week they get watered down. We check the temperatures of them and they start composting and they heat up naturally inside there as the microorganisms are doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're breaking it all down, it heats up. After it's well on its way to breaking down, we turn it, we combine two windrows into one windrow and continue to water it. And then in three months, this gets put onto a field, nutrient dense, rich soil ready to plant into. Like literally this broccoli this is a broccoli. I don't know why they threw it away. I would eat this. I feel like I could eat this one too. This broccoli is going to be turned into soil to grow more broccoli instead of methane in the landfill. There is nothing more important than this conversation and it's hard to get people to realize that it's such a simple act. Do not throw food into the landfill. And if you're gonna throw food into the landfill, put it in your green bin. They don't want you to do that. But I mean, it's just crazy. It's the craziest crazy, like putting food in a plastic bag and then throwing it into the ground and then covering it with dirt and just like, <laughs> instead of doing what nature intended, leaves fall from every tree, fruit falls from every tree and breaks down and turns back to soil. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. God, nature, universal truth already did it for us. All we gotta do is play our part. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you're inspired to compost. And food that looks like this, you guys, we can still eat it. This doesn't have to be trash because the broccoli looked a little sad. I just picked it up out of the trash. And I'm willing to eat it. Please subscribe, like, comment below, and let us know what you'd like to see more of on the farm. We look forward to showing you all of what we're doing here at Soa Heart Farm.